Welcome to 30 in 30. My name is David. I'm AJ. And I'm character actor Steve Buscemi. Woo! Oh, it'd be so great to have him here. This beautiful face. And I don't mean that as a jive. I actually like him. <laughs> but I'm Brady. Anyway, we are going to be doing our Destiny 2 podcast. What? what? Yeah, buddy. It's so good. Uh, so I'll start it out. Do it. Uh, that I'm a, and AJ and I were talking off air that we really loved the intro to it. And I knew it wasn't going to take that long uh, where you... And for those who haven't played it, I will give you a... Spoiler warning. Ten second. One. Two. <laughs> ten. Three. Okay. Okay, we're good enough. <laughs> That uh, skip ahead to this mark on the annotation. Oh wait, this isn't YouTube. Uh, that when you lose your powers, I knew it wasn't going to be that long, or else it would be a really crappy game. Where like, yeah. oh, I have all these things that I had in Destiny One, and now I don't have them for half the game. I knew it wasn't going to take that long, but it was still amazing. So amazing, in fact, and I know you're listening, Bungie, that my two-year-old mm-hmm. son, who doesn't sit still for anything sat there for the whole entire intro and just watched me play it. Like the very first start yeah. of the game mission? Start the game mission to when you go through and you're kind of just slowly walking in and you have all those weird creatures trying to attack War you beasts. where all the other yeah, the, where the other guardians got killed. Guardians? Uh, and I so loved cool. how the the music in that first section... Uh, oh, so good. It was great. The, the score is so amazing in this game. I love it. Bungie always has the greatest music, I think. In yeah. most games, yeah, I could I could sit there and just fall asleep listening to my because I got the the Destiny two uh, PS4 dynamic. Oh, nice! Uh, whatever it is, theme theme. Yep. Ooh, lucky! And because uh, it came with a pre order or whatever, so I was like, all right, whatever, I'll try. I didn't it. get it with the pre order. Me neither, because I have yeah. Xbox. <laughs> but it was pretty cool, and it, I mean, it has like the Destiny music kind of playing in the background just the whole time. I could awesome. just sit there and listen to it. That's so good. So I must say, uh, kudos to Bungie for the opening sequence was just. Amazing, and I, I like it. I like a lot of different things because I really didn't play the last expansion for Destiny just because most of my friends who played it had stopped besides AJ. Yeah, and then I was so late to the party that I, you know, why was, even bother? Yeah, why bother? Because then it was like, well, Destiny Two is coming out in like a month, so I was too. I think we started in like late last year, early this year, and I made it to four hundred. Yeah, like uh, granted, I I got the. Level 40 boost. Yeah. Well, like, I... It still was a long road. I had a level 30 boost on my character, and uh, I ground out the last 10 levels, and uh, I ended up getting it. It was when I was on disability, was when we started playing it hardcore. So that would have been probably around March. Yep. And uh, at that point, like, the only reason why I got it is because my dad bought it for me, because he's like... Hey, I want to play this game with you. And I was like, Dad, I really don't like Destiny. I think it sucks. And he's just like, well, just play some game. I was like, all right. He's like, I'm going to buy it for you. We'll play it together. Okay. Deal. Guess what? We only played together once. And then (laughs) I like leveled, out leveled him like super fast. And he never logged on again. And he's like, it just wasn't for me. I see you playing all the time though. And I'm like, yeah, I can't put it down now. <laughs> yeah, I've, I'm on record on this here show, it's totally hating it. Yep, I it's think I was the only person. I think I was the only person who really you liked were. Destiny. You were at the time, yeah. Well, because yeah. all I knew how to do was patrol Earth. I'm like, this is dumb. It's the same areas over and over. Granted, the game is that, but it's so much more. And it is, and I'm glad uh, in this one that they didn't give you a sparrow. Right from the get go, yeah, you where you have could to explore, and I like that because the developers, I think, said that there's so many nooks and crannies that they want you to explore, but yep. they don't want you just to blow past with the sparrow. And I, I like that. I don't mind running around, and because I mean, I'm still not level twenty, so yeah, killing everything is just you know helps. Yep. I mean, most of the time, I I try and hit those uh, public events. Yeah, public events. There we go. I'm, Man, those things like fucking kick my dick in. Yeah. Mainly just the one with the uh, the Sepskis or Sep- oh, the, Sepkis Prime dude. Yeah, I don't like the, the really, big floating eyeball. Yeah, the big floating eyeball that fucking teleports you. Ugh. So see that one, I didn't. I don't have a problem with. I was talking to my friend Brian that plays, and he's like, "Yeah, I actually died on that because it teleported me All into the, way the air." Yeah, yeah. And then I accidentally double jumped with my Titan and Launched jump further really fucking high <laughs> with the titan and uh he was like and then i died 
good. <laughs> <laughs> See, that happened to me because I was like, what's happening? And all of a sudden, I'm like way up looking down at the eye. And so I just kind of slow or fell and then I hit my my first jump and just kind of slowly. The first time that happened to me, it was uh, in that part where it's like a circle and then you got the house on the back. Yep. It teleported me into a room with like a tiny opening, like sniper nest. And I had a brand new level <laughs> sniper. Like, oh, yeah. So the first time that happened to me, uh, I thought the game, like, I thought I was having lag issues. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? What's my character doing all the way back here again? Like, I just, I just came from here. And then, like, I ran up there. I started like, cuck, 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 and then. Happened again. Yeah. And I was like, all right, what the fuck is up with my internet? Like, I've been having these strange <laughs> issues with my Wi-Fi and my controllers. Like, my controllers are starting to lose range. Uh-huh. So, like, I have to start putting my controller <laughs> even closer to my PlayStation 4. See, I was having problems with that before. Or, like, when I had stuff blocking. Yeah, like, uh, what'll happen is, like, I'll be, like, moving my head, and then it'll get stuck and just make me spin around. I was doing a fucking strike one day, and that happened, and I was like, God, I look like the most retarded fucking <laughs> player on the fucking entire How game How do base. video games? <laughs> oh, there's a four-year-old. You but know? This like, isn't Pong. <laughs> but those public events usually get about like twenty three or twenty five hundred, so that's how I kind of level up. Is I just hit those and oh, I, that's they pop the, my bar up. So oh, dude, ways. glimmer, glimmer galore. Yep. And I do like how they don't have the cap on glimmer anymore. I don't know if they oh took that out God. later. No cap Destiny, on but glimmer. No cap. No, there was still a cap on glimmer, and then glimmer was a huge pain in the ass to get in the yeah. first game. This one, it's a guaranteed ten glimmer per kill. Like D one was max twenty five thousand. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm way. I'm and I'm, I'm, past, I'm like at like 60. 40 or something like that. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, well, the, one, the one thing I do like, uh, shooting off and you remember what you're going to say, um, is that uh, all the weapon slots now, you, like the heavy doesn't just get like the heavy machine gun, the rocket launcher, but you can have anything in any of those three slots. Yeah. And I really like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. See, I, I thought I was going to hate it because like, oh, I can't have my shotgun and, and then a rocket launcher but I think this forces you to play a lot smarter yeah and the, shot, sure. the shotguns are a lot nicer in this one I think oh, they yeah. feel a lot more powerful and I also like that they don't have I, I was like because it took me a long time to find if is the fusion one that uh, where you have to like you hold charge it, hold it yeah. yep. I, oh, I, God I, I didn't find one of those till like level 15 and I'm actually okay because I, I don't like those because it always happens where I'll get one of those uh, not the Vex but the uh, Fallen Yep. And they'll, I'll charge it. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is going to break a shield. Teleport. And then it teleports. And then I yeah. spray into nothing. And I'm like, oh, you stupid. Man, that happens to me all the time during sex. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really, though. Yeah, but- <laughs> I, like, I like the fusion rifles. You can, uh, if you're in a really tough spot and you got like a, an, a shielded enemy, you pop that on, you drop it in one shot, and then go to town. See, the only fusion rifle I ever liked was the one that I had in Destiny 1. I forget what the hell it's called, but. I'm pretty sure somebody will tell us. Was it a comments. legendary with a uh, Yeah, it was the one. Name. Yeah, and it was the uh, one that you had to uh, do all the uh, war sat drops. Oh, and the laser else. beam gun. Yeah, the one that has like the bouncing laser oh. until it hits. Remember when I was showing showing it to you and I was doing yes. like uh, 14 to 20,000 yep. HP headshots with it? It was so good. Uh, you can actually find it on the Ishtar Commander app. Oh, they haven't updated. So I had to keep the Destiny app because that's the only way you can do clan shit. I can't actually find that gun because it doesn't support Destiny One anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that was like my that was like my favorite fusion rifle. But other than that, I didn't really like them. Uh, this game. Uh, so me and Brady were talking about it, and we both think like it took everything from Destiny One that we liked and then improved upon it. And then everything that wasn't likable about Destiny, they just kind of yeah. scooted it under yeah. the rug. Like, eh, that's enough of that. So, the best thing for me, in my opinion, is is that uh, everything feels tighter. Like, oh yeah, before like everything always felt kind of loose. Like I played Destiny One at a sensitivity of nine. And oh my god. Everybody that knows That's me. That's like PC quickness. Yeah, everybody that knows me knows I play like at a pretty low. Now I only play at five. I think I play at like a six or seven, something like that. I always turn off my sensitivity. In two? 
Hmm? Yeah, and two. Oh, wow. I play it a five and two, and it, I think it feels a lot more responsive. I bet it'd feel even more responsive if my controllers, you know, weren't <laughs> weren't disconnecting. You gotta and, you gotta scrub out the Bluetooth. You know what it is? Piece. I'm pretty sure it's because like there that that PlayStation Four. If I open it up, it's just a big dust ball in there. Yeah. <laughs> See, my PlayStation Four right now. Any, I it'll stay quiet if I am just watching videos. But if I turn on anything, it's like what? <laughs> mine sounds like a freight train. And my I did something to mine. Because I took, I cleaned it out, and I watched like a YouTube video mm-hmm. on how to clean it, and I didn't have a security uh, screwdriver, so to not avoid the warranty, or, or well, just a really no, small there, one. No, there's uh, yeah. specialty screws in there that uh, you need to use, uh, like a hexadecimal oh. security screwdriver, and I didn't have the right. Like I even bought a security screwdriver, but it wasn't the right fit. Here's the thing, though, David could have came and talked to me about it because I have a fix it toolkit. With seventy six pieces, <laughs> if you don't find if they don't find a handsome, at least they can find you handy. That's right. No, honestly, like I bought this thing, I love it. KJ hates that I bought it because it was seventy dollars. But the that's things like, that I have like a fixed, buck twenty five a piece per per tool. Yeah, well, it's mainly just one tool. It's maybe a fucking a, screwdriver. Yeah, buck with seven, like a Never million know. fucking I'm not good heads. At but anyway, it's not like I'm sitting here endorsing this fucking thing because they're not paying me any fucking money. I just love the fucking toolkit. Anyway, that's a, a bona fide dirty nerdy recommendation. Yep, pretty much. Uh, but yeah, like uh, I fixed like people's 3ds's at work. Uh, somebody brought in like their. Can you fix my life? <laughs> <laughs> Let me try. <laughs> but no, like you should have just asked me. Like I, I have like all the tools for this shit. It's just. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest with everybody in the room right now. I live in an apartment. I'm afraid to open up my PS4 because I'm afraid that there's like a million cockroaches just like fucking up in there. Mine didn't have any. And I mean, I bought mine and had it for almost a year and a half in an apartment. Yeah, but you lived in like a brand new built apartment complex. This this place was built in the 70s. (laughs) See, I think uh, let's go deeper down this tangent. I think console makers should start making easy ways to clean the internal guts without voiding the warranties. Yeah. Actually, the, the way that you have to do it with the PS4 is really annoying. It's probably like, oh, I'm going to break it. It's, or, it's really ridiculous. Like, I've watched a couple videos on how to do it because, like, I've been planning on doing it on on a day when somehow KJ's not here and Lola's not here and I can as- disassemble everything on the table with the vacuum at ready in case I need to vacuum up a bunch of roaches. But anyway, like... Or earwigs. Yeah, it just makes it sound so gross in my apartment. We don't have any bugs. It's just... Or tarantulas. Oh, yeah, there's tarantulas in there because we're in uh, southern Texas now. But anyway, like... (laughs) Now we're no longer talking about Destiny (laughs) 2, so you know you're listening to 30 and 30. Yeah. But anyway, what happened was uh, somebody sued... uh, a printer company because you had to buy proprietary items for that item and courts ruled that if you purchase a piece of hardware it is yours and you can do what you like with it which completely opened up the door for console owners so that means you can open up your console without without avoiding a warranty like they can't turn down fixing your thing if you've opened it up before because the majority of us that are going to open up a console is just to clean it out. Because we don't have the convenience of a PC where you just pop off a side uh-huh. and, and then take a vacuum it. and just kind of get all the dust out of the out of the shit. But when I took mine off, I did something to my button. So my power button will sometimes work, thankfully. Because there's been times like my son the other day knocked it off the table that we have it on. Uh-huh. And like all the cables came out of the back. So then they did something, and they changed it from the input, so I couldn't find, like, it wasn't registering that it was on. And so, thankfully, I was able to turn it off and turn it on, and it it came on the screen, but my eject button doesn't work anymore, so now I have to, like... (laughs) Manually manually eject eject. with the controller? Yeah. Ugh. How terrible. I had the complete opposite problem where it would eject on its own. Oh, I remember that, because you got the Destiny White PS4. But part of me wants to, because I have that old... uh, Asus Awesome Tower 
And I oh the Darth me, Vader head. Yeah, and part of me wants to just take out my PS4 and stick it into that because I wish that they would give me a big. Because I know everybody's like, "Ooh, I want a small, slim, sleek." Give me a big, huge, chunky console that has tons of room for plenty of fans and see, yeah, that air, air moving around. See, uh, I, I'm in I'm in a shit ton of like video game forums and shit on Facebook, and uh, somebody posted that they bought this uh, laptop cooler that's pretty much like. It lifts it and then angles it up, and it's got five fans on the bottom of it. And he said that his PlayStation used to, like, overheat and sound like a fucking freight train all the time. Then he got that, and after he cleaned it out, he hasn't had a single issue ever. So, let me have to try that. But, I mean, like, I know that I'm kind of screwing myself with mine because I keep it in such a small area, but mainly because I don't want my fucking kid to, like, start yanking it on, on it and everything else. The thing I wish PlayStation would do is put fucking USB ports on the back of the console. Xbox has been doing it for years. Catch up, Sony, because having an external hard drive plugged into the front... Bad... With kids, bad with kids. I know this firsthand. But I, anyway, I do, I do agree with that because, like the the old uh, Xbox One, when it had just the hollow touch instead of like the actual button, mm-hmm. my daughter would think that was the most fun thing. So I'd be sitting there playing, uh, what was it, Titanfall, right when it came out, and it's like, oh yeah, this is so great, I'm awesome, I'm winning, I'm doing all these great things. And she's like, oh dude. Like, Lola still does that to like my old Xbox. She'll just run up and be like, "Oh, it makes a noise." And in the PlayStation, at least like it doesn't beep. Like it, it beeps, yeah, but, but it's not a fun beep. Yeah, it's like a <laughs> yeah. The Xbox One is like, do it again, do, <laughs> do it, it again. again. And the PlayStation was like, leave me alone. I'm an old cranky fuck. <laughs> All right, let's shoot back to Destiny. If Destiny we can. Two. <laughs> Speaking of consoles that you can play Destiny Two on. <laughs> I got a Segway Master over here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so speaking of consoles that you can play Destiny on, Nintendo Switch you can't. So fuck off, Switch owners. <laughs> <sighs> I want to. What classes did everybody pick? I always pick the Warlock because it's my favorite. Warlock. I, I'm gonna. I might try a Hunter. It was but, fun in beta. But uh, I wish that they would have added more classes in Destiny Two, and I'm hoping that's coming down the pipe. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know I, what they would be, but it might mess up the meta game. Yeah, like not meta game. The lore. The lore, maybe it would be really but cool. Like, though, they see can what always, they would make. They can always patch in something. Like World of Warcraft keeps bringing out like new classes. All, uh, yeah. Oh, hey, we yeah, found, they've always like, been there. What they, is this? An well, interdimensional <laughs> rift in time? Like, oh, there's three other classes. Yep. Uh, now, or, now or like, oh, there's these Worgen that have been behind this wall for the last ten years, and they, we just found them. Yeah, that's bullshit. Because I <laughs> found a way to get behind that wall, and there was nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, but, no, like. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure that they could find a story reason to put that in, but it would fuck up the end game PvP, and, and it's, that's it's, what people would bitch about. It's not like they could make anything better than Titan. So, Be- I mean, come on. Can you heal? Can you heal, bro? Yeah. No, you can't. Uh huh. You got a shield. I have a melee that gives me instant overshield and recharges my my health. Yeah, but yeah, I, have a, I have a I have a heal over time. Yes, uh, it has a a uh, AOE. Yep. So anyone close to me also gets health regen and an overshield. Not to mention Boom, now, now warlocks are bringing out the uh, DPS because oh. we can also drop down the high damage output. That is so cool. And I love the I don't know what the warlock sword. Oh, fire the, it class. is sun 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 striker sun boy sun, sun boy. boy. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, so I play a warlock, but I played a warlock in in the first one. But I also have a Titan that that was at level forty and now is just sitting there waiting. Yeah, to be I, I have the same thing. I have a Titan that's like one hundred slash one. One character only for me. I'm better than you because I'm a Titan. <laughs> 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 Let's all just agree that hunters are the worst. Stupid. Stupid. I would. L- just kidding. I like them. I would like to, uh, a hunter with the, the gold gun, but. Ooh, yeah. Not, I just would always end up wasting the shots. I'd be like, oh, this is going to be great. Yeah, you get like maybe three. Yeah, I think. And that's why I play a Lich Lord. 
because you, do like you still have the <laughs> lightning. Yeah, I oh, just okay. I just got it. Like it was the last uh, th- unlock I got. I remember playing uh, a bunch of raid, not raid strikes in D one. My friend Katie always rolled warlock. I'm like, wait, where are all these enemies go? I'm like, oh, I just used my super. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, it's the it's it's amazing because then if you if you take the route where like you could turn it into chain lightning, it's just like hold down R two and win. Yep. <laughs> So, but anyway, with Destiny 2, I don't know. I feel like it's a lot better because in Destiny 1, you had to actually level up every single fucking class. Yeah. And that made me not even touch, like, the solar class of Destiny 1. The Warlock solar class sucked. It, I think it just gave you a boost of all your stats. Yeah. Yeah, but even then, like, I didn't want to invest all the fucking time. Yeah. Because, I mean, you'd spend so much time leveling up Voidwalker or whatever. Yeah. And then, and then and they go all the way back to square one for Arc Strike And now it's just like, oh, here's some points. And then when you're at max level, you can do some quests and you get some points. So then by the time you're done with all the... Like, all the opening quests to each planet or moon that you go to, then you're you're fine. You don't... You you just throw them in there, and then, like, if you want to switch yeah. your, your class on the fly, you can do it. Yep. And it's so easy now. Like, I love that they streamlined it. Like, now, if this would have been World of Warcraft, I'd probably be bitching. Because when they streamlined, like, all of the yeah, talents into care. just, like, seven tree... Seven, you know... I, I miss the old... I mean... You know, I miss I miss going vanilla. down like seventy five points and like being like, oh yeah, I expect forty one twenty. Yeah, <laughs> I mean because it, it meant something. Now it's just there's there's no originality in World of Warcraft. It's just cookie cutter. Every if you want, the, I mean, and it was the same thing. But even within Rogues, I know this is not Destiny, but even within there's Rogues, parallels. you had some kind of you'd have either like a hemorrhage rogue or a backstab or a sword rogue and I mean you could, all had great viability and you could uh, depending on how good you are at playing the class like I was I had awful gear but I was in Blackwing Lair and I was number one DPS because with I with a crow blade crow blade and a hound tooth no no yeah it was yeah. car hound tooth that's right car hound tooth and I know my shit <laughs> apparently better than I do um and it because I knew how to play my class. Now, once they changed everything and came into like you know, kept on making it more and more casual. But I think Destiny has done well in making it casual, but also still for the hardcore raiders. Yeah, like, and streamlining everything, but also making everything better so that more the, fun. The divide isn't yeah, so because I mean like. The, the divide isn't so huge as it is in like World of Warcraft, where there's now like 18 expansion packs, and everybody. Yeah, mods, you, you, you start know, at vanilla. level one, and you have this like three mile tall wall of grinding that you have to get over. Now, yeah, that, that, like, that is Destiny, one thing I do it, like just that Destiny slope. does is that it's just even with Destiny two, it's you only have 20 levels. Yep, and then it's on to end game, and it's not like it doesn't ever feel like a grind, and that's what I always loved oh, about oh, Destiny number one. It does when you get into. The, 250 power. No, no, no I'm not talking range. about light, light range. I'm talking about just, oh, just leveling, leveling to get up. to the end game stuff. Yeah, yeah, because like, I mean, if 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 you do what I did, like, I didn't do the main quest. I would just do all of the quests for each moon, and then I'd move to the next one, yeah, do every single quest there. Yeah, and that's kind of what I've been then doing. Then I went to Io and did every single quest there, and then I decided, alright, I'll go around and do a, some of the main quests now. I was like level 20 before I even... Yeah. was done with, like, Io. I was like, oh, I'm already level 20. How weird. And I thought it was, like, crazy because it's like, oh, I'm already at 180 light. I'm currently at 220. Nice. Yep. I'm 258. Well, I think you're better than I showed you. Well, he is. He's a tight... <laughs> well, I mean... I don't want to toot my own horn, but toot toot. <laughs> no. But I think the fact that leveling up is... People are going to call it easier. It's softer. More... It just makes it's, the game more accessible to people down. that, like us, that... Have lives? Have lives that have, like... Well, like, me me and David, like, we have kids. We have to work, you know. Yeah. Bullshitty stuff. And then, I mean, me, like, I should probably be, be in bed right now. Because I gotta be up at five in the morning. But fuck it. You only um, live. Yeah. <laughs> you only live once, you. Yeah. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> that's not me. I'm sorry. That's cursing teeth. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> anyway, like, so it makes the game more accessible to me, like, because well, I can still go do strikes when I want. I can I can take this game at my own pace, and it's going to be fine, but I've still got, like, that little bit of hardcore gamer in me. So it's like, ooh, I'm going to run through and get, like, super high level, super fast, yeah. and I'm going to start getting good gear super fast. Well, And I thought I was doing great until I saw my friend Brian, and he's got, like, everything's a purple. He's got, like, a bunch of legendaries just sitting around that he doesn't use. Uh, he's got, like, the Mita multi-tool. Now, here's something you guys probably don't know quite about yet. So, there are sister weapons now. Yes. So, with the Mita multi-tool, there's also, like, a... Mita uh, mini-tool. Mita mini-tool. And if you use them both together, they buff. each, like, buff each other. So, you get crazy fast movement for Mita, yeah. specifically. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, there's, uh, two gun, two, uh, handguns, or... Stroom and Drang. Drang. Yeah. So, I mean... That is awesome, I yeah. think. Yeah, like, uh, so... So is it kind of like a set piece bonus type thing? Yeah, pretty much. It's now, really and cool. I was kind of, in my mind, I was just thinking that this is... The correlation more isn't with World of Warcraft, but more kind of Diablo 2, where the leveling and the... It's all. It's a. I mean, a loot horror game, basically. Yeah. And the leveling really isn't the, the function. And I mean, even with that uh, set piece bonus and stuff like Better that. Better loot leads to leveling. Yeah. yeah. Not leveling. Well, it works in tandem. Well, and I mean, but, it, but leveling isn't like the end. Of, it, leveling is just something that happens while you're playing the game, and yeah. the end game is really. And I mean, that that's where Gear. every RPG is. But I mean, getting cool shit like that makes you more powerful. Yep. Yeah. Because like. Honestly, nobody really cares about what level they are. Yeah. It's what's my power level or what's my light level. The only time yeah. I cared was right when I started the game and I got like raffle stomped by some <laughs> yeah, one yeah, of yeah. the first. Uh, so on Earth, did you like uh, try to explore like everything and then you go up and around and then got blasted by level twenty centurions? <laughs> no, I I was Does that happen wherever to me? you first yeah. wherever you first start and there was one of those. Uh, public quest going on. And I was like, oh, I'll try it and just see what. And they just <laughs> kick my face in. Oh, dude. Oh, so, so you know on the the EDZ when you spawn. Oh, sorry, European Dead Zone. Now everyone plays the game. Uh, when you spawn first, and you can go up and talk to yeah, Damien Bonerhead, whatever his name is. <laughs> <laughs> just just to your right, there's always enemies. That is the hardest spot in the game for me because I you go over there and. I get crushed by those cabal landing cabal landing pods every time. Oh, I'm just dude, standing there it's and terrible. Dead, and like what? It's so terrible. And then the worst part about it is when the fucking glimmer, like the glimmer drill, and you have to keep jumping around. And the there's always one in like that graveyard section. So yep. you have centurions like dropping a bunch of fucking drop pods, and you get crushed by those. And then you got, you know, they're they're. Porting in all of these fucking captains, so you're getting fucking yeah. fisted then, by that. And then you know how they have those those random legendary enemies that come in that spawn a high value crate? target. Yeah. yeah, they they're just like, hey guys, care if I join? And I'm I, not they, I like how they're I like how they're all fighting each other because I mean these are two different factions, the Cabal yeah. and the Fallen. And then all of a sudden they're like, no, oh, I'm going for you. Yeah, it's like, oh look at this, everybody, enemy of my enemy <laughs> is my friend. Let's kill this guy. He has light. <laughs> yeah. The, the ones He's that, a natural. And it's a totally low character, but they're the harpies, I think. Oh, God. The floating, yeah, spinny things. Basically, the floating triangles. Those yeah. things are fucking I hate bullshit. Them. They have such a small, sweet spot. And here's the worst part. They're not even that hard. But There's a quest on Io where you like end up having to like jump through the sky... Like on all of these platforms, you have to end up killing like one of those fucking uh, hive mind things. Yeah, and it'll randomly spawn the guys that will explode on contact if they touch you. Yeah, and then the fucking harpies. And I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm sitting here trying to kill this fucking giant thing. <laughs> I have two fucking <laughs> turrets going like, <laughs> and it's just like, Ugh! and then and then. You got fucking four fucking harpies, like, constantly just fucking laser bolting you in your fucking butthole. And it's like, are you fucking kidding me? I died, like, 18 <laughs> times doing that quest. I was just like, I'm so fucking glad there isn't fucking, like, a repair cost in this game, or else I would be fucked. Yeah. Like, the, the harpies are... 
the equivalent of a really bad ball itch in public. Yeah. Well, no, it's because like, my it, problem is that I'll have all the vex that'll be needed t- ding, and ding, dinking annoying. down the guys with the big head. Just yeah. the normal Vex. And then there'll be a Minotaur. I'm like, okay, I'm going to take his shield down. Then all of a sudden, I'm like almost dead because there's three Harpies that have just been honing in on me. And then they just blast Shooting me. Shooting a fucking purple laser beam <laughs> straight into your fucking anus. <laughs> it's bullshit. But, and then the equivalent uh, fall on the shanks. Easy as pie. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you could just kind of look in their direction. all fucking yeah. day. And they'll die. Yeah. Like, oh, the only okay, shanks I hate are the new shanks that they got where they have, like, the bombs strapped to them. Those, the those, were, uh. those were in uh, Destiny 1 in the... Uh, okay, new to me shanks. Yeah. yeah. Well, but and still, the fact like, all you have to do is fucking cap their fucking bomb. I know, but I don't... Know. The ones that have the three orange health bars now, they have yeah. the exploders like that. Yeah. So it's not just an instant takedown. You got six of them swarming. You're like, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> you will die. And um, now in Destiny 1, do they have grenade launchers towards the end? Nope. nope. Okay, I'd really like, I really like grenade new. launchers. Too. They're really fun. Although, is it a good enough trade-off to not have machi- heavy machine guns anymore? I miss my lo- LMGs. I do, too. Nova Mortis. I had a light level 400 Nova. and Oh. That, oh, that, that gun is that's like... Speaking of that... Uh, uh, I like how they do gear now, where you don't have to go and have it. It automatically rolls as soon as you're there. Oh so your God. gear now rolls up to appropriate. In, yes. It, unless you get legendary or bright Ingram. Which is fine, because that, the anticipation, like, we have to go back to the farm. Yep. Or, <laughs> because, was, yeah, was, there's really no reason to go back to the farm at this time. Except for, I'm just going to turn in some shit here. Yep. Or, oh, I did all the challenges. I'm going to turn it in and get get a purple... Thing in the it, it's like you're gonna get something guaranteed awesome out of this, and you have to wait. You, and you like, know oh, what? The, now is the farm on Earth, you get or some, is it like on, yes, a, it's on, on Earth. Moon? Okay, it's on Earth. Here's the thing I hate: is that every single fucking legendary Engram drop I've gotten, the bullshit hand cannon. I fucking oh, do you? hate hand cannon. I, See, I, I actually I, like them. I'm this different one. this because in Destiny One, hand cannons are my bread and butter. I love them. Yeah, I could just run with them all day long. This one, I seem to. I don't know if it's just me getting older and being worse at video games now and my reaction time. So now I'm like, I need the scout or I need a, a assault rifle. Is it because of the range? You I don't get, know what it is. I, I just tend to pack plus the range on. Top I think of it's it. that I start shooting and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I only have six bullets and now there's like. Yeah. I think it's just because there's right now where I am in the game, there is so many like. Uh, either Fallen or Vex, where I just get, like, 30 soldiers coming at me at the same time, like, plink, 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 plink. Okay, I got six. Now there's, like, 30 of them beating me up as I'm trying to reload this stupid thing. Yep. Yeah. And, uh... I, I think I like it in Endgame and for strikes, but... I think they... Don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm, like, a scout rifle guy when it comes to Endgame, but right now... I'm all about the SMGs and... SMGs are really fun. Yeah, SMGs, uh, sidearms. D- Bungie and second games, all they always have SMGs. Well, yep. Okay, one other time it happened. But <laughs> the second time that they could have done something different, it's like, this is our a Destiny one, I was fe- two, submachine guns. <laughs> <laughs> and I do... Th- I, I know AJ will uh, roll his eyes at this, but I... Because I was horrible reading, like, quick quest text and stuff like that to actually, you know, find out what I was supposed to do or where I was supposed to go. But yeah. I kind of do this with weapons where I'll, I'll find one that's like 30 or 40, you know, points higher in damage. And I'll be like, okay, I'm going to destroy this last one. Even though I, like with sidearms is the big thing. I enjoy the three round burst ones. Yeah. Oh, I hate yeah, those. I hate, the, I hate the all automatic ones because I'll, I'll hit it and it'll be like, and I'll just, yeah, like, I'll just like, end up <laughs> shooting at the sky. <laughs> And I always destroy the one that I really like. There's a, a three-round burst. There's a little bit less damage, but I liked and could kill stuff a lot better. And well, then I'm like, oh, I'm a big proponent of like instantly destroying my old gear because I like to build yeah. up like all of the, you know, the weapon materials. Oh, the weapon, mater- yeah, because you get a chance at a legendary engram. Yep. The so I mean, like it's- the gunsmith is worth something. I can't tell you. When but I here's got, the thing: when though, I hit 400 light in D1. Never went to the gunsmith once except for exotic quests. Because he has, like, those field test weapons, which I'm sure you got. There was actually a reason for those. You could take it in. The, but I'm playing... I played a lot of PvP in <laughs> D1. I'm like, I have a 400 uh, Suros regime. I'm not going to go to a 200 <laughs> Suros XY T1 butthead. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing, though. Like, I've seen a screenshot, and Banshee is in the game. I just don't know where he is, and I won't tell you. 
Mm, okay. Because when you get to go to the place that he is, it's because of a massive, huge, mongous event. Oh, okay. So, all right. And I do I like don't, how. Don't worry. I'm not nope. going to spoil anything that happens when you beat it. So. And okay. I like uh, I like how Zer isn't in a like quest zone. Zer's He's going to back. Be... Zer's yeah. back. Where the fuck is he? And what is he taking? I don't know. Is it? I, I haven't got that far yet. Four. <laughs> I just know because I read some some story that said that Zer isn't in. He's not going to be in like a the farm or whatever. Just on this certain day, he's oh, so. going to be. I think kind of out and about in the world or so something he's like a, that. So Ooh. he's going to be like a traveler. Well, like the reason why I ask, like, oh, what does he take? Because like strange coins. Here's are the gone. here's the coolest fucking thing I I think about the game is that. You can find random shit and have your ghost scan it, and then you get a little bit. Uh, you get a, a lore tidbit. Yeah, it's just like a little snack of lore. Like <laughs> it's not the grimoire. It's like, hey, you have to leave the game and go on <laughs> go on the app and read these. Like, uh, no, um, I'll just watch an hour long YouTube video about it. Exactly, and still be confused because the one story was shit. Actually, what I ended up doing is I read this giant uh, article that really pieced it together really well. So like. That, yeah, that's I, how I and remember I sent you telling it to you. me about that. Um, so that's how, like how I got more acquainted with it. But the reason why I bring this up though is because there's a thing you can scan. And I think it's on IO, and like, and the ghost is like, "Huh, it's like a giant one of those strange coins. What the heck were those anyway?" We don't even. It's know. just like this little like nibble of like. Mm, there's something tasty here. We, and all, I all I knew is that I had to get a lot of them to get exotics that I didn't want oh, to get yeah. <laughs> what Oh, if, yeah. What if we were giving the nine, like, like jet fuel so they could melt steel beans? <laughs> but little did the nine know that you can't do that with jet fuel. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, like, so that made me really excited. I was like, "Ooh, I want to know more. I want to know more." Yeah, and isn't that crazy in Destiny that the story is compelling? Yeah, like I'm actually like really kind of like vested in it. Where before the story was just like a secondary thing to me. It's just like I want to go kill the big fucking guy. Yeah. See that orcs guy? He drops sweet shit. I yep. want to go go kill him. My one problem are though he wouldn't. My one problem with the story, exactly. though, is that with the Cabal and taking over the one city in the Earth, I don't understand how the resist. I mean, I'm assuming it's taken over a really short period of time in the actual, you know, story. Yeah. But I still don't see how the Cabal couldn't just be like, we know they're there. We're just going to go bomb them because we just bombed the, the main city. Yeah. They have huge spaceships that can just wreck, destroy cities. Yeah, uh, with bomb. Why don't they just make like a planet-sized bomb? I mean, the, like, far- the like, farm is like Goku. Huge. Just spirit bomb the city. I mean, like it's not like you know they could destroy the sun or anything. Yeah, yeah, for real. Which that was a really cool graphic when that happened in the first parts of the story. I was like, oh, that's pretty sweet. When they spoiler warning, I I almost said like, so you all know that? No, we just know that he has a thing. Pointed at the sun that's yeah, going to okay. explode it. Oh, a uh, little tidbit without spoiling anything. Watch through the credits. Okay. There's a stinger. Those are mandatory now in any media you watch with credits. You got to wait. Oh. Or just look it up on YouTube. I'm and then I, <laughs> I would like AJ to kind of, because you know more about this, because uh, I had that, this question that I talked to you guys about, uh, that the bounty board is now gone. Yes, it is. Yep. But there are bounties esque. They're Kinda. called challenges now. Yep. And and what happens is so you'll land on wherever the fuck you're going. Titan. They're mainly moons now. You don't go to other planets. You just go to moons. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so you'll land there, and then if you press down the touchpad or whatever button like you use for the adding a little addendum, I feel like Neil deGrasse Tyson was the person who was like, "I'm going to be in Destiny." We're laying on moons now. Because <laughs> he always talks about wanting to go to, I think, like Titan or something like that, where there's liquid water under the surface yeah. and all that kind of like, We need a new planet. How about Pluto and Neil deGrasse Tyson smashes through the wall? It's not a fucking planet! <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so... He what? tweeted so fast his phone broke. <laughs> it's not a planet, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so what happens is... Uh... God damn it. Sorry, you go to a moon... Oh, yeah, so you'll land on the moon, and then if you press, like, the touchpad button, it brings up, like, the 
the destination mode. Well, on the right hand side, it will have challenges now, and they're they're usually kind of vague. But it just like kill five centurions, uh, do this or I kill admit, kill kill like a hundred vex yeah, by get uh, ten kills with a sniper. Yeah, and then what it, what ends up happening is once you complete all three, you go back to the farm. And now, do you have to complete all three, or can you just complete one? No, you have to complete all three. I think for okay. getting one, you get a little bit of glimmer, but that's not the most you can get. Yeah, because if you do all three, they give you a legendary Ingram or a okay. bright Ingram. It's it, just like, hey, good job. Now, do now our bright Ingrams, those are the ones that... Eververse, like... Eververse cool shit. Stuff. So, like, uh... Shaders. Like weapon mods, weapon shaders, mod ships, and... Boats. Yeah, like, I, I've got, uh... I've got two really nice purple boats. <laughs> yep. I'm on a boat. <laughs> And uh, so that actually brings me full circle because back earlier I was going to mention about Glimmer. It's a good thing that they don't have a cap because shit costs a lot of Glimmer. Yep. If you want to put a shader on your ship, it's like 20,000 Glimmer to do it. And I've done it. Yeah. And I Every talk thing. about shaders, which I don't really care about because people oh, have gone, gone oh, crazy. Oh, dude, yeah. me, me and Brady are part of Shadergate, all right? <laughs> I may have changed my mind but continue david because i i mean i'm not a like i like my stuff to look the same but at the same time if they're gonna put it behind a paywall or you know to where i have to try and farm out the stuff i'm not gonna care that much about it see but the nice thing is a lot of times anymore it just comes from drops like yeah oh cool i think the only the way they can correct this and still get their money out of it because people will pay money is just instead of having it be a one-use item it just is there for you Ever. Use. And I mean, just like Destiny One, they will work perfect. Because how hard is it? Do I want to be gold not, today, or I want to be white today? Yeah, because you're uh, not going to. I mean, you're not going to make as much money, but you're still going to make a ton of money, and you're going to make your core people who really care about the shaders happy. I mean, I'm and I mean, and how hard is it that you're like, oh, we're going to just invent new shaders that people will buy? Oh, I guarantee. I mean, because you, they will. Goodness yeah. gracious! I mean, we look at World of Warcraft. I know we talk about this, but they'll come out with a new mount that does nothing besides it's like a, a zebra with wings, and they're like, oh, I must have it. Yeah. yeah. And people pay we're ten bucks, twenty dollars for this fucking yeah. mount, and people will buy it. Yep. So I mean, it's not a hard thing where you're like, oh, I need, I'm going to do this off gray In instead De- of just regular gray. In Destiny and One, people will buy the crap. The max thing you could buy in the Eververse, I bought it. It was like fifty bucks. Yep. You know how much cool shit I got from it? A lot. A lot. <laughs> but do you know how much useless shit I got out of it? A lot. How <laughs> like many of those, the... those goddamn Halloween masks? <laughs> yeah, that that's what I was getting you ready You can't to say. break them down. You have to put them in your vault and they take up precious vault space. Yep. Like, I don't want to look like an eyeball. I have literally 20 eyeballs. Why do masks. I want a snow globe on my fucking head? It was funny <laughs> once, but now I have 50. <laughs> Come on. Now you have to make a character just to have their all their slots taken yeah. up. But here's the only cool <laughs> one was the blue flaming uh, skull one. Yeah. But here's the coolest thing, though. So it's piddle bullshit that has to do with, like, piddle you know. Bullshit? Yeah, just, like, tiddly little bullshit. You know, like... <laughs> Most people aren't going to give a fuck. Like, they they won't even notice it if they're not looking. But you can attach this thing to your ship now to where, like, when you zone into an area, it'll it'll shoot out, like, a, a picture or projection or something. And, it'll, I, it'll and I got the one for the Iron Wolves. Look. Yeah. So I got an Iron Wolf one, that, and I used that on my ship. Oh, what's it look like? <clears throat> oh, it looks like the Iron Wolf banner. Ah, uh, you. that's my favorite shit is cool... Wolves and shields and swords. I love that in D one. Mine is just the the taken mm. or hive. I, like green stuff happens when I. I have one I, that, I don't, that I shoots don't pink much. stuff. Just kidding. Yeah, I love pink. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, one of my favorite colors. And I will say, uh, going to more of the mechanics of the game. I like how when you push. At least I don't know how it is on the Xbox, but I like how on the PlayStation Four when you push the whatever that middle pad is called. Uh, and you can go to just the destination. Like I, I, think, I think we can all sit there and say, thank goodness we don't have to go to orbit anymore. Yeah. Yep. That is just so open nice. up director and go. And the fast travel on. Yeah, fast travel on map. So, like, there's multiple spawn points instead of, all right, you land here. Now you got to fucking drive your speeder for 15 minutes yeah. all the The annoying all part the that I hate here. is that I'll, I'll be doing. Because I'm still trying to level up and go, get to the story to get to the end. So I'll hit one of those little spikes and start a story. And I'll be like, oh, hey, there's an event happening. And I want to, like, fast travel because I'm, like, on the other side of the map. It's like, you can't fast travel when you're doing this. Like, uh, stupid piece of crap. 
Let me fast travel. The the oh, who the cares? Thing I have an issue and with the, with is the adventures. The public events happen way more often. Oh yeah, dude. Like every fucking five to ten minutes. Like, oh, we'll get that in. 20 and the nice thing is no now, problem. I mean, with the director, and it's, and it's not like, oh, please, 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 let this be a war set. Nope, oh, it's not going to be a war set. God. Trying to get that fucking weapon in in Destiny One took me th- like three days of playing like eight or nine hours straight because I was like, I'm just waiting for this war set to spawn here. You see, I did a lot of googling and I eventually happened upon a forum post on. The- the Bungie forums. It was magic. If you read it or posted in it, it happened. And I was reading. I read. Every oh, was comment. it? Was it? Please, oh, please, oh, magic thread. Drop a war set on my head. Totally worked. <laughs> <laughs> well, after about twenty minutes, but it happened. You know what I ended and up I doing? I never is... used sleeper stimulant, which is the gun you were thinking of. Yep, sleeper stimulant. Mm, yeah. yeah. Oh, that was my fucking bitch. <laughs> I loved it. Uh, anyway, so all in all, I would say that Destiny 2 definitely lived up to the hype. I love it. I think it's better than Destiny 1. Oh, so much better. Leaps they took and they took everything about Destiny 1 and improved upon it and made it a really solid game. But we still ha- we still don't have raids out. Yeah, today. Oh, today raids came out. Yep, nine okay. thirteen as yeah. we record. Yeah. All right. So, Leviathan well then, raid. You have to be two seventy light, at least. Hmm. Because I didn't know this in Destiny One. If you weren't the recommended light level, every point of light lower than that that you were, it was a percentage of damage that you did less to every enemy in that raid. That's crazy. That's weird. Yes. Yeah, so if you're like. Let's just try the raid. We're 100 light level less. You will do literally nothing. <laughs> You're just like... Well, yeah, like, I'm working. It, it's also like... Uh, the one thing I hated about uh, the first Destiny is like when you would go back to like Earth, let's say. And it, like there's like the level one dregs and shit. Oh, uh, yeah. And like... Instantly, your level like gets decreased to level one. You're doing level yeah, one damage. I noticed that. Like, I did like. It's, I'm, maybe I'm just totally wrong in this, but I didn't see any levels on stuff. Like uh, there is, yeah. and that's what I really liked is that. I mean, you knew when you're going to get your teeth kicked in, but at the same time, it also is really. Not, I just like not having. Oh, this is a level twenty area. I just like that everything is just. Kinda, oh no, I kind of like having like level specific areas, or like if you go through Noob Town. You can just go through and fucking wreck face. Yeah, like the uh, I, I imagine the Iron Banner section of Earth, the Plague Lands. Yeah, like if you want a challenge, challenging patrol, you go there because everyone's level forty. Yep, so I know it, it kind of lets the higher level people flex. The only thing I didn't levels. like about uh, Destiny Two so far, since I'm not uh, you know top level yet, is that it wasn't. Like, I enjoyed a lot of the locales of Destiny number one. Yeah. So I just, I miss those. Yep. And so, I mean, it's kind of like that same argument of, oh, I, I wish for the days of the vanilla WoW. They're so great. I don't know. Like, And I wish that I could have some of those places just put back into Destiny where I'd be able to go and visit. Well, yeah, Earth, I was, I was old, talking to Brady about stuff that. Like that. Because Cause I just love those locales so much. They were so much fun. Old Russia was cool with the huge Yeah, uh, the Cosmodrome and yep. that were just rusted. It's like. And me and, and I was talking to Brady about that because if you're on uh, IO and you look in the sky or not IO is it IO that that's uh, Saturn's planet or Saturn yes Saturn's so. moon yeah uh, if you look into the uh, rings you can actually see the dreadnought where it made like the huge explosion yep. and that was put a circle cool. in the ring so like I don't know I really love the sky boxes in this game but me and Brady brought up like. Uh, Bungie's always been great with skyboxes. Like, oh, yeah. think all the way back to Halo One, and you look up into the sky, and you progressively can still see like everything on the Halo. Yep, all the way through, and, and it's just like the oh, one man. with Jupiter. Oh, what? Oh is that? man, Titan. that Titan. 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 Yeah, just seeing Jupiter. It's yeah, like, so beautiful. Yeah, it's and great. and then there's that that moon planet thingy, Nessus. That. Which, where is that supposed to be located? It's in, our... in the way outer, past the uh, dwarf planet Pluto. So, I was, I was, I was fucking, I, I, t- X. I asked Brady. In between solar system and I think maybe the Oort cloud, I don't know. So, I was, I told there. Brady, I was like, how is it so fucking bright on this planet? 
Which that was really cool though, because I mean, uh, one of the I think it was on not Titan but uh, IO, and so I kind of I looked at the sun because I wanted to see what it kind of looked like, and I mean it was really cool because it was distant. I mean you still got light, but it it really looked. I just it's, it's I love a few those light little, minutes old. Yeah, I, I enjoy those different little scientific touches that are just cool and interesting. Where the sun isn't like all all huge. of them except for uh, Nessius or whatever the fuck that. But Nessus, it's really dim. I mean, you want to play on a constant night planet? Yes. Actually, yes, I actually I kind of do. <laughs> Battlefield 1 has night maps, and it's great, so never yeah. mind. Fuck you, Bundy. When, I when, uh, <laughs> when uh, Gran Turismo 2 came out with night maps. Oh, uh, good. Mm. good. Oh, speaking of fuck you, Bungie, I think that is the most used term I've ever said in my life because I've played so much Halo 2. Is either fuck you, Bungie, or nice spawn, Bungie. <laughs> and I still say that today. Well, like, yeah, they are PvP. horrible with spawn points. It's like a spawn's like, oh, nice, nice spawn, Bungie. <laughs> this is all your fault. Thank you so much for matchmaking, but <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. could you learn how to spawn? I mean, like... <laughs> I hate you. you I, hate I think you. the only game that had wor- a worse spawn than that was uh, Modern Warfare 2. Oh, yeah. You sp- I've spawned literally in the middle of somebody's Firefight. Yeah. <laughs> and just died instantly. Like, okay. I say this as a person who brought a Halo 3 messenger bag. Oh, I wanted to say one thing about the shader controversy. Uh, If you have a shader you really like the way you look, wait till you have legendary armor and just infuse it. Yep. That's what I do. That's that's what I've been doing. I have Um, the super obnoxious, like, uh, shimmery blue and purple. Of course you do. I I look like uh, Retrowave and Vaporwave, the the Guardian. And just like, oh, I have exotic arms now and legendary everything, so pop it. Pop it, lock and drop it. You should get the legendary uh, pants or feet or boots or whatever the fuck they are that recharge your super on chance hit. That's what my friend Brian has. See a Titan? Wait a minute. No, never mind. He doesn't play Titan anymore. He's a hunter. Yeah. I got the the arms that look like remember the mm-hmm. the Siva raid? Yeah. That was like all uh polygonal. That's what my arms look like now. Polygonal. I didn't Polygonal. Have, uh, polygonal. <laughs> Polygamist? Doesn't it suck to be wrong, AJ? <laughs> <laughs> They're called polygons. It's polygonal. Polygonal. Who the fuck says polygonal? Most Nuclear. Nuclear. Nuclear? Nuclear. 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 Osama's Ob- Osama's got nuclear weapons. <laughs> Never forget. Uh, <laughs> Speaking of which, 9-11 was a few days ago. Yeah. I remember the you. Rest in peace, 9-11. <laughs> I don't want to disparage because that was a horrible thing that happened. But memes memes are how we cope now. Yep. And I'll never forget mom's spaghetti. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Amen. Arms are heavy. There's spaghetti on a spaghetti already. <laughs> Mom's spaghetti. But Destiny 2, awesome. Uh, I would buy. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> yeah. As Kramer would say. He's like a stock person who does stuff on CNN or something. He has a button that's like, bye, 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 or sell, sell, sell. Oh, 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 that guy, Mad Money? Yeah. Okay. I thought you meant, <laughs> I thought you meant from, Kramer from Seinfeld. Yeah, me too. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I thought you were doing a Backstreet Boys, but it ain't no lie, baby. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. We could do that too. Um, that's in sync, by the way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Get your boy band straight. Brady yeah. knows his boy bands. I like. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> hey, I like in sync. They're yeah. the one boy band that actually can sing. Yep. They Although uh, Justin Backstreet Timberlake. Boys, just, or, uh, Backstreet Boys did have the song in uh, "This Is the End," so I mean that is something for them. They had the fat one, man. Oh yeah, Joey, fat one. Yep, <laughs> the fat one. <laughs> <laughs> he was so awesome. He wore a shirt uh, during a concert that said, "I listen to Backstreet Boys for the pussy." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, Joey Fat One is an in sync. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh. You got Lance Bass, Justin Timberlake, Joey Fat One, uh, the other one, <laughs> and the other one, the <laughs> ugly one. Well, yeah, is you need like, a fat one, an ugly one, a cute one, a gay one, and uh, one that sings really good. Yeah. 
Uh, this is a teaser for 30 Nerd Exploration of Boy Band. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Keep tuned for uh, Y'all Motherfuckers Need Boy Bands. <laughs> I would like to hear that discography. I, will, I, will that. I want should, that show to happen right now. We should now. do an, an instinct episode because I know my instinct. Oh, that's awesome. I'm, I'm not too uh, familiar. I'll, I'll handle I'll take the reins. Okay. We can do the open one because I know all of them and then flip straight into InSync. That's a great idea. And then <laughs> and then we'll do the horse the band one. Yeah, we can compare and contrast Opeth to InSync. Yep. There's more similarities than you might think. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> and now Ugh. for a commercial break. Arnold Palmer's light iced tea half and half. Mm. Good mm. to the last drop. Unless and- you have a second can... Oh. oh, they're only at ninety nine cents at your local store. Arizona tea, get vaporwave. <laughs> mm, that 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 that's some good tea, <laughs> dude. You just did a. That is the plan. What? I don't know. Uh, go by destiny too. It's great. Anyway. So, I would say now we should say, on a scale of one to ten, what would you rate Destiny? Was it was it bad? Was it great? What would you rate? I would say eight point five. Does Anthony Tutano <laughs> here? <laughs> eight point five. I think so because I, I I think it had, it'll have great replay value. I mean, it already is a lot of fun just leveling up. And learning the, the lore. The whole game is replay. I would <laughs> also say an 8.5 to a light 9. I would give this... 8.5 eight, five. Eight, five is a good number. I you think. know what? I think I'm going to sit with 8.5 too. It's not like the greatest game I've ever played, but it's definitely a game I'm going to drown a bunch of hours in. Oh, yeah. I probably am just going to cancel my pre-order of the uh, new... Uh, Wolfenstein because I just won't have time for it. Yeah, you even though I really kind of want to get it because I pre-ordered the special edition. It comes with uh, the uh, DJ Blazkowicz doll action figure. I'm sorry, oh, there's a God. nerd out there freaking <laughs> out. <laughs> what the He's fuck? having conniption fits. Actually, it's called an action figure. Yeah, because when you said doll, I thought that just a stuffed <laughs> toy doll like Woody. <laughs> There's a snake in my <laughs> boot. But fun game. I'm going to play it when I get home. I should probably shower because I had a really crappy day of working outside. But you can't get. I did this hot as balls for shower. September. Oh, like I mean, terrible. we had a, a, a ridiculously 90 fucking degrees today. And like, yeah. but like last week it was beautiful. I had my windows open every fucking oh, day. I know August was, was like the best month ever. It was like 70s. Yeah. Maybe and 80s. Yeah. Fair weather was not there. Now we're getting fair weather and it's September. I want to be able to start busting out my fucking hoodie. Mm-hmm. Nope. Not going to happen. Probably won't happen till December. Like and I'll I, probably still be wearing shorts. I was looking at the weather last night to see if I should leave the windows open. 90% humidity yeah, at one in you. the morning. <laughs> Go away. Nature, you're drunk. So I had to drive to work, or I had to drive this morning at 6.15 to drop my kid off at daycare. And it was foggier than balls. Yeah. And then when I'm getting on the interstate, there it's foggier than shit. Then there was a fucking accident on I-235. How foggy was that? <laughs> well, it wasn't anymore by that point. Just dumb. But I ended up getting stuck in traffic for 15 fucking minutes, so it took me an extra 15 minutes just to commute to work. That damn fog. Fuck you, fog. <laughs> I don't know if there's any out there, but if it is... It's, yeah, some, it's somewhere. It's, it's, it's up high in the sky right now because it's a cloud. Oh, for those of you who can't see what's happening in this room... We're now. flipping off the outside. The outdoors. <laughs> Fuck you, outdoors. It's January. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> let's put a knupsh in this. Yeah, let's let's school. Let's put a dick in this butt. So go by destiny. Go yeah. by destiny. It's fucking great. And I do have to add one thing from our show. Uh, our last show that we posted. I know it was a long time ago. 
What the hell was our last show? That we uh, the movies. That was real. I liked that episode. It was good. I listened to it and got enjoyment, even though I was in the room. But I was I was told by one of my friends who listens to our show that uh, I neglected to mention one of the amazing movies on our. I think we said like top ten, and then we wound up making it like top seventy five. Top ten, but here's all the other ones <laughs> we want to talk about. That uh, I neglected to mention, uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Oh, that's a pretty damn good movie. And so, uh, Derek, this is me mentioning oh, that that should have been on our list of things that you should also watch. That's the game show dude who was maybe or maybe not a CIA agent. That is not that movie. No. What is... That's Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. And that uh, is also you should amazing. all go watch that. <laughs> the mind part messed me up. I don't know what you're talking about, David. No, that is... Uh, uh, that one uh, has Jim Carrey and there's Kate like a, and Kate Winslet and there's a mind wipe machine. Oh. And so they break, this couple gets together and then they have a horrible breakup so they remove each other from their minds and then they wind up meeting... Meeting each other again? And so it's kind of... I don't know. It's an amazing movie. Go and watch it. good. Yeah, it's you should watch it. It's all about fate and destiny and... Can you really outrun it? Destiny. Destiny. Free will. Oh. Destiny. Destiny 2. That's the most professional thing that's ever happened on this (laughs) podcast. And we didn't even mean it. It's like a destiny of the destinies. That was one of the worst things that's happened on this podcast. (laughs) You know what's even worse? (laughs) This is a Skyrim episode. Destiny's Child. Hey, the the Skyrim episode that we did with uh, John was good. And then it... AD's computer threw up and... (laughs) did something and then we lost it. It's because we were using a super intensive program at that time. Yeah, that's true. Instead of bare bones audacity. That's right. right, Audacity. When you don't want to bog your computer down. I want I want somebody to start paying me some money to do this. So (laughs) so hey advertisers, I may not be the most ad friendly guy in the world, but But we're not PewDiePie. There we go. (laughs) And with that note, we bid you fair Uh, due.